Greetings. Once again, my name is John Gabriel, and this is the new Calculus channel. So this video has garnered a lot of views and has uh, apparently ruffled a lot of feathers. So <laughs> I think it's worth adding one more video. Okay, so let's do that. Let's add one more video. Now, let's clear the canvas. So any of you have any clue why nowhere in ancient Greek literature or texts they had symbols like pi or root two or any other symbols that you might associate with some constant? Well, well I'll tell you the reason for that. It's very simple. The Greeks knew that the measure of a number, the measure of a number, the, well, the measure of a ratio, rather, the measure of a ratio is what gives rise to a number, <clears throat> okay? So what that means is that if you have a ratio of magnitudes, let's say something like this, okay, the scheme would be to measure this antecedent using the consequent. This is the consequent. So in geometry, measure is 100% precise. Don't believe me? Check out this video. I'll place a link to it. I got somebody to produce it for me. Okay. So, you know, ancient Greek uh, constructors didn't even know about numbers. They could do all the calculations perfectly. If, for example, they had a ratio of magnitudes, let's say CD and... <clears throat> Uh, let's call this diagonal side. So this is circumference, circle, length, and diameter. And this is a diameter of a square and the side of a square. They could multiply, They well, they could take the difference, the sum, the quotient, and the product of, of these ratios in any order to 100% precision. You still can't do that, not even with your with your Taylor series or your the bullshit that you find in your mainstream mathematics courses at university. You don't even know what a number is. That's how stupid you are. <laughs> okay, so they they would never. There is no such thing as a number pi or a square root pi. It's it's gibberish. It doesn't exist. Okay, there's no such thing as pi and square root two as numbers. What you do is you use those symbols to denote constants. Okay, so for pi, you denote a constant, 3.14 or 22 over 7. That's how they refer to them in ancient Greece. And none, none of you today had even, even a thousandth of their intelligence. If you were living back then, they would probably see you as less smarter than apes because that's what you really are. You're, you're quite stupid. And of course, uh, the other reason they didn't call this a number is that this ratio here has no measure. Okay, you can't measure. So this this is the main reason why in ancient Greece they didn't have symbols for these because they never saw them as numbers. So Archimedes, when he was uh, trying to find, <clears throat> trying to measure these ratios, he, he he always got to some kind of approximate measure. You know, I mean, it, it wasn't pi may have been 22 over 7 between some some values. So it, to be honest with you, if you had told the ancient, ancient Greeks that pi and square root 2 were number, they'd, they'd look at you as if you were mad. They would laugh at you. That's how much they would, uh, uh, they would scorn you. They would dismiss you. Okay, there is no such thing as a number square root 2. That's just Total BS. There's no such thing as a number pi. There's no such thing as a number E. Okay, those are not numbers. They're all measures of ratios of magnitude. A magnitude is not a number. It can be a straight line. It can be an area. It can be a volume. It doesn't matter what you have as a magnitude. Okay, but to get a number, you need to have a measure, which means that in a ratio of magnitudes, these must have something called quotientness, quotientness, which in Greek is pilikotita. Okay, so you've learned a Greek word, pilikotita. 
If they don't have pilicotita, you can't measure them in algebra. Okay, you can only do what the ancient Greek Parthenon builders did and measure them with 100% accuracy using geometry. Of course, I've got videos on this too and how do you do it. And there's, uh, the, there are several articles on my academia.edu site, which I suggest you study because you don't know these things. Okay, and I'm telling you that even the gods cannot calculate the measure of these ratios. Oh, yeah, they can do exact geometric measure, precise, 100%. But there is no measure of the ratios using abstract unit. Okay, using the abstract unit, you cannot measure these ratios. So this will be the final video on the concepts that I try to explain to you in this video here. I'm John Gabriel, and this is a new calculus channel. Goodbye.